This one sponsored by the wonderful folks at Regency Security. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner from Team Titan London. Put your hands together for Stuart Austin. Pull the trigger, ain't nobody gonna do for you. Pull the trigger, maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger, ain't nobody gonna do for you. Pull the trigger, don't hesitate to shoot. Yeah, why you believe in the propaganda? Why everybody sound like they want to be from the land? You the voice to the echo, you the nail of the head. I be talking about two of my beats. I don't mind my manners. Of course, this is fit the opera. That's why I need fans. I got my doubt at gunpoint. That's why I need friends. That's why I got two people for the money. Honestly, I thought I'd have 30. It's been all over the shop. I've been in there with a who's who of some of the top talent. We've got Johnny Walker, the UFC sensation. And he also put the first one in the lost column. Tom Aspen is a hugely hyped UFC heavyweight prospect, Darren Tills, sparring partner, he's been in by Hillwood. How good is it been to see this man about to step into the contender's cage? For nothing, he's got super power in his punches. As I say, the fourth ranked heavyweight in the UK, he's going to fight Yuri Andre here tonight as we await the Brazilian's entrance. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from RC MMA Brazil. Put your hands together for Yuri Andre. Say, if you're in any doubt as to where he comes from, he comes to the cage with the Brazilian flag, the BJJ black belt. We saw him push Primashaw Mashala all the way in a light heavyweight title fight just a couple of contenders ago. Succumbed eventually in the fifth round, but he gave Mashala a lot to think about, Dean. And what are you looking out for Andre tonight? Yeah, I would say Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, and he's Brazilian as well, that's a different level. Experiencing Muay Thai, nice long limbs. He's got a tight guard as well that's hard to penetrate, great clinch, dangerous knees as well, so look for those in the clinch. Likes to throw the left up hook to disrupt the rhythm, and he likes to use low leg kicks to slow down the advances of his counterparts, which I believe is going to be a factor in this fight if he can land it, Mark. Yeah, that's a great shout. He's got um, pro boxing and Muay Thai experience as well, so he's very well rounded in all the uh, all the martial arts. And as you say, we saw against Mashali, threw some really nice leg kicks off the end of left hooks and combinations, which really slowed up Mashala. Um, and really gave him something to think about. So Stuart Austin is going to have his hands full here tonight. And if he can put Andre away, that's a major statement. To be right. The official Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sponsored by the good folks at Regency Security Group. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner 
from Team Titan in London. Give it up for Stuart Austin. And his opponent standing across the cage in the blue corner from RC MMA in Brazil. Put your hands together for Yuri Andre. <laughs> this heavyweight professional mixed martial arts contest will be fought over three five minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Rich Mitchell. Here we go, the main event time here at Contenders 28. Mark Heath, Dean Midhat. It's a pleasure to be with you as Rich Mitchell calls the combatants to the center of the cage. Stuart Austin in the all black cycling short style with vigor eight written down the back and Yuri Andre with the long hair and the long black and gray shorts is his opponent here tonight look for Austin to throw the right uppercut followed by the left hook that's one of his favorite combos and as Dean Midhat said there you go straight away the leg kicks from Yuri Andre Dean Andre already looking to take the spring out of the step of Austin to sap some of that power away with those big punches. Austin, more methodical approach here, looking to work on the outside, looking to parry the legs as well, looking to show the jab. Potentially looking for the rear uppercut there when Andre changed levels briefly. Austin is 13 and 6 as a pro. He's been there and done it. He's fought a light heavyweight, he's fought a heavyweight, he's fought for titles, he's fought in big organizations. And we're delighted to have him here at Contenders tonight. And when I spoke to him earlier, he said he wasn't going to hang around, he was going to pressure Andre, he thinks that Andre struggles if you pressure him. Thought that Mashala gave him too much respect in their light heavyweight title fight. This, of course, is at heavyweight. I didn't quite see what happened there, Dean. Exchange of punches there, but just none connecting cleanly. But those are the dangerous times when they're slinging close range. Both of them carry that knockout power. Absolutely. And Austin certainly has the power to end fights in an instant. I'm not sure you want to go to the floor though with Yuri Andre, as I say, high level BJJ black belt. Well, Austin's got some great judo though, and he relies on that in the grappling exchanges on the feet and up against the cage. Um, and if that can translate, right. here we go, this is what we're going to see. Right? He's on the Chew. double, and Beautiful he puts work. him down. Good work there from so he, Austin. I mean, he does have grappling, and he's great when he pressures from the top position. We shall see. Interesting now, Austin has taken the BJJ black belt to the floor. And he's now looking to advance his position in the half guard. Austin's been here many times before. He's been fighting for a long time, highly experienced, and he knows how to pressure a guy from the top position. You'll see him push his elbow into the face to land those elbows and the punches. But look for him to try and sneak the right leg out of the clasp of Andre. Could be potentially looking for a Darce choke here. Got to watch for the leg locks as well of Austin. He defeated Tom Asmore with a beautiful heel hook. Dangerous. Those leg attacks on the floor. As Austin is imposing his will in the early going on Yuri Andre. Main event, Contenders 28. A pleasure to have you with us. There's the short elbows from Austin. Andre now trying to retain the guard here. He might use the cage to stand up. He's got to get one arm down post and get his legs underneath him. He's doing, doing a good job of utilising the overhook and heavy hip pressure to prevent Andre from standing to his feet. Are you surprised in any way that Austin's taking this to the floor so quickly, Dean? Well, in a way, he's, I mean, coming from Team Titan as well, his wrestling's going to be awesome, like, particularly on the top. You know, he knows his own skill set. When he's on top, he's very, very hard to deal with. As you can see, Andre might find it very difficult to try and sweep, to even implement any sort of stand-up. Austin's got some great top pressure, so as long as you shut off the back takes and you're able to land the elbows and the punches, as we're seeing here, Austin's relatively safe. He just can't allow Andre to get any uh, advances with regards to the sweeps or create angles. Andre looking to get back to his feet, and he's back up. So Austin with a takedown, Andre back to his feet. And back to the centre of the cage, and another leg kick there from... Yuri Andre, a big part of his arsenal. Clips Austin with a little uppercut as well. Austin in on the single. And I think he has decided that this is the way he's going to win the fight, Dean. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's felt the fact that it, when he's on top of this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, he's able to control him and prevent any sort of advances with regards to sweeps or submissions. 
It's a smart play to, to play on top, to stay out of danger, to not stay in the wild exchanges on the feet. This is the game of MMA here. You, you're looking to win and minimize damage as well as maximizing damage and control to your opponent. Austin's got to keep busy here. The referee's looking on. He might cause oh, look, a guillotine attempt here. And his head's out. Nice elbow from Austin. He's going to land the ground and pound. He's wary of the up kicks from Andre. Nice, nice punch there from Austin as he lands some big power on Andre. Andre just looking to invert them, but inadvertently gave up his back. And Austin's going to look to stay in this position, pound the punches and stay on top. He might look to get the hooks in here, but his job is to stay on top and finish this round strong. He's just going to run out of time. And there we go. A dominant first round there from Stuart Austin, Dean. Perhaps surprising that he, uh, he took Andre down so regularly and quickly. But as I say, I think obviously on the feet, he's decided that this is the best way He's tasted Andre on the feet, and he thinks maybe on the ground is the best way to get the victory. As we look at the replay here, this is pretty much the story of the first round. Stuart Austin on top of Yuri Andre, looking to make him pay. There's a double leg up against the cage, which can pull the legs away here, and he's always driving his weight downward, whether it's through his hips or his shoulder, he's always looking to control Andre, to not give him any sort of inkling to get up, to create space, to threaten any takedowns of his own. And also, he's preventing the half guard here. He's securing the legs, you can see from the camera angle. He doesn't want to enable Andre to secure a half guard to get to a better position. OK, round one in the books. You have to say that was one for Stuart Austin. His main event here at Contenders 28. Pro MMA, three five-minute rounds in a heavyweight division. And here we go, round two is about to get underway. Referee Rich Mitchell. Checking everything is in order. And we are back on the way round two. If you're Yuri Andre, Dean, what do you do in the second round? Well, he's got to use these leg kicks and get on his bike, use circular motion, lateral movement, but he's also got to throw some combinations to keep Austin busy and definitely show the knees and the uppercuts when Austin starts to change level and come forward. To the turn oh, big There's slam a big here. takedown coming up here from Austin. And he's Oi. going to look to do it in his own corner so he can listen to his corner. Could potentially work for a Kimura from this position. High fight IQ there from Stuart Austin. As you say, picked him up and took him to his own corner where he can enjoy the instructions from his Team Titan colleagues. Mickey Tapas, of course, chief among them. Andre now just trying to prevent this position from advancing. He's going to try and circle around and give up side control here. He could potentially use the pendulum to swing his legs from either side to evade this. He's going to look to invert now and try and take the back, maybe slip for an armbar here. He's going to get back to his feet, but he eats the right hand for his troubles, Mark. That was nice work, though, from Andre, wasn't it? Getting back to his feet from that position, pushed Austin off. He did eat the right hand, but now Andre's looking to make a statement here with his hands. There's another big leg kick. He's punting that front leg, Dean. As you rightly said before, that's a big weapon for Yuri Andre. And there's the uppercut. And again, Austin back with a takedown, with a double leg. And he's got Andre pressed against the cage. Austin again now looking to secure the side position. This is better for Andre now. He's got half guard. He's able to control the posture a little bit better. Going to the, the knee shield here. He's wrap the arm around the neck here. Might be looking for a guillotine, but very difficult to finish from this position. He needs the full guard to finish it or have one knee across the belly and the rest across the back. Body shots here from Austin. He's just looking to distract here and, and, and advance his position. He's going to try and get his left leg out of that position and go straight to the mount here. Similar story to the first round here then. Austin on top of Yuri Andre, looking to rain down some punishment. He's yet to land anything really big from the top. But certainly this is racking up the top control time for him, and I certainly think we'll be racking up the points as well. 
Austin did a great job of, of nullifying the game with Andre. He's keeping his hips nice and heavy. He's not allowing Andre to get any angles to you know, advance his position or look for any submissions. And Austin did a great job of shutting down a proficient grappler off of his back. Austin looking to land some hurtful punches from the top. Elbows are two, of course, as he's posted on the face. What does Andre need to do? If you're on the bottom, Dean, what does he need to do? He needs to he's, move, doesn't he? Shrimp he's and... got to get some separation. He's got to force the head away, look for the underhooks. And you can see that Austin's got the underhook here. That's what Yuri needs to start. There we go. He's starting to circle his right arm in and underneath. He needs to get both underhooks here. Could threaten to take the back or potentially go to the full guard with the hip escapes. Again, difficult with such a, a dominant wrestler on top, but he has to keep moving. He has to use the bucks and the oopers to try and create some space. As soon as he starts to move his hips backwards, he starts to gain a little bit more real estate in Yuri. He starts to get to uh, uh, smell getting back to his feet. He starts to think about pulling the, the uh, guard position, the full guard position. Austin did a good job of slamming those right hands in. He's starting to rack up those yeah. punches now. He's Yuri's looking for damage. the Kimura here. You can see he's following his arms through. Switch from the camera angle. There we go. You can see, look, he's dived his arm through and he's grabbed the figure four. He's grabbed the wrist of his opponent. To finish that, he's got to pull the arm out and circle it around to his right side. There we go. Could use it to sweep as well. Could also use it to submit. He's got to be careful about getting his, uh, his guard passed here. Oh, here we go. And Austin potentially setting up a head and arm triangle here. He's got to go to mount or to his left side, to the right side of the body of Andre to finish that. Could be looking for a Von Flu choke as well. Heavy shoulder pressure on the face of Andre, driving that shoulder into his face. Really uncomfortable. Nasty stuff from Stuart Austin. And now he postures up and looks to rain down those elbows. 10 seconds left here. Big elbow from Austin from the top. Two rounds in the books. Stuart Austin has dominated pretty much every second of those rounds so far. Dean, would you agree with that? Yeah, did a great job of utilising the strikes to change levels to get the takedown and stay on top. Yuri has got to get busy. He's got to start stuffing the head, potentially use the cage to stand back up to his feet. You see here from the replay, there's the punch, and he immediately uses that punch to disguise his level change. And it was the big aerial slam. And he dumped him right into his own corner. What a sequence there from Austin. The huge right hand, and then he picked up Andre carried him across the cage and dumped him unceremoniously on his back. Some superb stuff so far from Stuart Austin, He-Man. And he showed his strength there when he picked up Yuri Andre, who's by no means a small man himself, and dumped him onto the floor of the canvas here at Epic Studios in Norwich. One more round to go. Yuri Andre's got to find something special, Dean, if he's going to turn this round. Andre's definitely got to look for that killer knee. He's got some decent knees. If he can time it when Austin changes levels and land that on the chin, he could have some success with that one. But he's, he's got to get busy, got to be on the outside. Spool and brawl tactics to avoid the takedown. Here we go then. Third and final round in this main event here at Contenders 28. Stuart Austin, you'd have to say, is two rounds to the good so far. What can Yuri Andre do to turn the tide? And just as we say that, the leg kick goes in, Austin catches it and takes Andre to the floor again. Yeah, he wants to avoid this exchange, so leg kicks are very risky if you can't whip them back. Austin did a good job of timing it, catching it. Now he finds himself in the top position. He's looking to hold the half guard here. You can see he's clasping his feet together. Austin is looking to stay on top, do enough to keep the ref happy here. Lots of pressure onto the neck area from Austin. Body shots here. And invested in the, the body shots as well on the floor. Andre's almost holding on to Austin as well. He's holding him in, in the position that he wants. He needs to create some space between him and his opponent. He potentially might be looking for a stand up here for the referee to see in action, but Austin's savvy enough and he's experienced enough to know when to strike, when to, to uh, lay on top and control, when to do damage, when to look for the pass. Yeah, I think he's definitely staying busy enough, don't you, on top? To avoid that stand-up threat. Grinding that elbow as well, the point of the elbow into the chin, the jaw of Andre. 
doing everything he can to make it as miserable an experience as he can for Andre on the floor. Andre trying to get to his feet there. Doing well to go back to the cage to try and cage walk. It'll allow him to get back to his feet a little bit easier than it would be in the center of the cage or away from the cage. Austin working away now, ground and pound tactics. This is a really important tactic in mixed martial arts to be able to wrestle your way to the top position, maintain your base, maintain the pressure whilst putting in these damaging strikes. And it's certainly a way to the wing column. Sometimes it's not the most exciting thing, but when you've got such a dangerous striker in your opponent, it's a smart play to take him to the ground, control him from the top, and pepper away with the punches and elbows. Yeah, that's a fair uh, assertion, Dean. Certainly not been the most entertaining of fights thus far. But Austin has been very effective now looking to cinch up the neck of Andre. I think Austin will opt to keep to the, to the top position here. He's he probably not going to pull uh, guard and try and finish the uh, guillotine. He definitely wants to stay on top, definitely wants to control Andre underneath him. I don't know with the elevator hook. He's got to post one hand down though. He's got to get that hand down to the mat and get his feet underneath him. Again, going back. <laughs> punishing the body, elbows, hammer fists, all sorts from Austin on the top. Just wants to make it, as I say, horrible time down there for Yuri Andre. And he's been doing that effectively for pretty much all of the three rounds. Now looking into mount. There's danger of Austin walking up to the mountain here. He needs to drag Andre away from the cage and start to walk up his body. Andre turns to give up his back. Dangerous stuff here. Austin just looking to lace the leg here and stay on top. It's got to be his tactic for this fight, to get the takedown, to stay on top, stay dominant, limit the movement of Andre, and use the ground and pound tactics here to score on the judges' scorecards. It's a good position to, right, to land some punishment, isn't it? If you can fire in those big right hands, you could really maybe even force the stoppage here if you can land enough. Yeah, Austin doing a good job of lacing the left arm as well of Andre, you can see he's funneled through his left arm there, just put by the cage a little bit, but he's, he's uh, trapped the left arm, so he's free just to go to the body and the head. Yeah, body head, body head, mixing it up, racking up the points to Austin. You could argue And Rich here. Mitchell is saying he's got to fight back. This fight is over. Just as I said, I thought the finish could be on the way, and Stuart Austin forces Rich Mitchell to step in, pin the arm of Yuri Andre, and then rain down punishment with the right hand to the body and to the face. And Yuri Andre just could not get away. As we look here on the replay, Dean, a dominant performance from Stuart Heeman Austin. Huge pressure from the top position, smart game plan, not to drop to his back and maintain the top position. I love the way he laced the left arm of Yuri there, just to limit his ability to move and get to his feet and also block these barrage of punches and elbows that were coming in from the top position. A very educated and smart play so look for the TKO finish from Stuart Austin. Absolutely, kind of reminiscent of the way Brock Lesnar defeated Frank Mir in their second fight all those years ago. You know, he pinned the arm and just smashed Mir's face with his huge right, right hand. So Stuart Austin, a good win here on Contenders 28 Fighters in the main to event. to the centre of the cage, please. Ladies and gents, let's hear it for both decision. these guys here in the cage, please. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the red corner, let's hear it for Stuart Austin. And give it up for Yuri Andre. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings an end to our evening. Thank you so much for attending Contenders 28 and supporting the event. We'll be back next year. In the meantime, have a great Christmas, great new year. Thanks for supporting Contenders in 2019. We shall see you in 2020. Thank you.